Thank you everyone for coming to my art space today. My tulips, Mother's Day tulips are looking a bit sad. Uh, but I just want to thank you all for coming. Uh, so the uh, last few days I've been contemplating. Uh, so I've been, so this, let me just show you. This is my study Bible. And I've been thinking of making uh, or buying some tabs because see these uh, ones here I'm think I'm thinking I should because uh, I was having trouble finding my pages and I was just sitting there thinking about how I can um, I might have to go to the uh, the bookshop to find uh, some Bible tabs uh, and I was going through Pinterest and I found this um, post uh, she had all these scrapbook paper and she wrote on each one uh, the words and I thought what a great idea I've got scrapbook paper right I mean we all have scrapbook paper those who do junk journaling and scrapbooking definitely have scrapbook paper so I started experimenting and this is what I came up with if you can have a look here let me show you I'm just gonna move this here and if you can see that I'll show you this one here have a look I managed to make some uh, of these tabs and using my uh, label uh, embosser and it was just such a fun project. If you can see on my table here, I've got some of them already cut out. So I will finish um, uh, putting them all in my Bible. But then I started thinking I could also do them on uh, any of my journals. So I started off with using these sheets. So I, I started, I thought instead of having just all... Um, uh, different ones. I chose five sheets. So I, sh I chose this one, this one, and this one. And then there's another one, which is this. And I alternated them, uh, as you can see. Um, they're all different. Um, so that it gives you a bit of a, um, yeah, it's a different look, if you know what I mean. Not everyone is the same. So um, let me just quickly show you how, um, how I did it. And you may like to try this very easy way to uh, make tabs. So you can make tabs for your Bible, but you can also make tabs for your journal. So let me just quickly show you. Now I'll show you what it looks like here. Um, so this is a 6 by 6 and you can divide this into four strips and they come up like that so what i did i just used my cutter and i cut out four strips and depending on the size of your um the size of uh, your book i guess or the size of um uh, because you know tabs can vary but the one that i've got i'll give you the measurements so mine is uh, about about three point seven three point seven or three point eight uh, centimeters by three point five and it's really a rough one like I you know I'm not too particular as long as it's not too big that's fine with me and if you find it's too big you can always trim it so once I have had my strips I just went like this I show you see this one here there's there's two there you really can just go ahead and cut them cut the squares out just roughly and you can keep continuing i won't show you that and then what you can do is so you fold this like that and i've got a corner cutter here 
This one is one from Daiso and this is one from Amazon. Uh, I don't know why I've got two actually. I think I forgot I had one. This is the problem when you have when you have too much craft stuff, isn't it? I'm sure you can resonate with me there. So all you do is you just cut the corner. This, right? And that's your tab. And what you can do is for the one with the my Bible tabs, these ones here, I have used double-sided tape. So just a little bit of double-sided tape on here and on here. This one I've used, but um, as I said, double-sided tape for, for, for my Bible. And then I've used my labeler to label the, the tabs. Whereas this one here, which is my art journal, which I'm working on, I decided to also make tabs for them. But I decided not to um, not to use double sided tape. You can use a stapler. The reason why I've used double sided tape for the Bible is because the uh, paper is very thin and it could rip with staples. But you know what? This is a much easier way. This didn't take me long at all when you staple them uh, to to the book, right? Whereas the other one, it took me much longer to sit there and tape every single one. And you have to, when, you, when you're taping them, you have to, with the Bible, you have to make sure that it's nice and even. Like, and this is covering a little bit, but you, know, um, you have to make sure that you're not covering the other side as well. So you may have to trim a little bit if that's the case. But this is definitely a fun way to, um, to make your own tabs, especially if you've got really pretty paper, I think. I mean, I am so happy with that because there's no other tabs like that at the shops. And, um, and this one here, what I did was I tried to match up like, like the paper to the actual uh, painting that I have. So anyway, I hope you try this as a fun project. Uh, basically, I don't think I need to buy tabs anymore for journals or for Bibles. This is a fun way to create your own. So thank you again for coming and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.